Ooh, some rings on our on our hugged what? That is baller right there, son. We are we will live like kings. This is too hilarious right here. This is what happens when face huggers listen to rap. Yo, what's going on guys? Riot here playing Spore. I haven't played this game in a long ass time, but I know a lot of you guys love it and love it when we occasionally go back and visit it. So, I don't know, I figured I'd hop into this. Like, this is being recorded. It's won't even be posted for a week because I'm going to be out of town. So again, this is just one of the other things I spent a while working on so you guys could... I don't know, just kind of cool content while I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? So this is about my finest attempt at a face hugger right now that I'm able to do. I put so much freaking work into it, but since I'm not in like free build creature creator, I'm actually in creature mode right now. I'm extremely limited with appendages and all those sorts of things. I mean, leave a like if you guys like this thing, or at least if you want to be a nice person about it. I understand the tail should be a lot longer and stuff like that. But I'm just extremely limited on this little guy. I'm trying to... I mean, there's a video down below in the description that I based a lot of this off of. But I'm also just trying to get it going off my actual giant facehugger toy. And I'm extremely limited on so many things. Not to mention, one, I should have so many more creature packs in here if I wanted to be exact. Just for the fingers, obviously, the vagina mouth is a little... I can't even do that for the most part yet. I don't know. I feel like these back scales are pretty on top. The tail, of course, the creature... Face huggers are long as I mean that tail. That tail's ridiculous right there. I can wrap it around my head so many times. So it was very hard to do. But this is about what we're working with right now. Unfortunately, it does not have eyes, but I feel like that was more realistic. Because face huggers don't have eyes. They pretty much just I'm not really sure what they see actually. Also, they do have a little mouth on the bottom of them that is kind of crappy, but it was like the best thing I could work with. It, they do need a mouth. They have to be able to eat. See, this is pretty much what I imagine a facehugger sees anyways, because there's that one game, that one virtual reality game, where you get to see what a Neomorph sees before. Look at my little facehugger crew. Look at us, dude. We're awesome. I actually love these guys, where um, you get to see Neomorph vision when he's inside the person's back. And basically, well, they have eyes, though. You just can't see their eyes. It's like under their skull or something. But those creatures are able to... um. Those creatures are just basically off movement. It's whenever the chick's banging on the door trying to get out, because the, the first, the game, the Neomorph virtual reality experience is based off like the first Neomorph experience in um, Alien Covenants. And in that one, you, you're, I mean, you still have visuals, but you see it lights up wherever people are moving. When she bangs on the door, you're able to see it lighting up there through the walls. It's just based off movement, you're able to do so many things. You, I had to get rid of so many body parts, so many very needed body parts to get this thing going. I mean, we don't have eyeballs, for God's sakes. Obviously, if you don't have eyeballs, you can imagine many other things got sacrificed in that situation. Also, we don't latch on to faces, which is another aspect that kind of bit me in the ass right here. <laughs> but one thing I'm super curious about is what happens when you go into creature stage with no eyes. Because, as fun as this is, I actually really want to see a, um, a tribe of facehuggers. You know what I mean? Like, with Spears, they like, what would happen if facehuggers didn't turn into Xenos? They basically just evolved into their own thing. That's what I'm really interested to see. But again, I've never gone to creature stage without eyeballs. Can we not see when we go in there? I'm imagining a bit of a... A bit of a screwed over situation. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. Look at this guy. That is hilarious. I also saw the funniest face hugger thing ever. Like face hugger. I'll put that in the description below too if you want to check it out. Someone made a face hugger. And it's like, it's not, it's it's just hilariously clever. Because obviously you couldn't put a face hugger on your character. So we gotta kill these guys. We get out or get our ass. Can we just go to creature stage without killing these? Okay, alright, let's do this thing. You know what's ironic? Look at the top. Our face hugger is a predator. What? What kind of crossover is that chisel? All right, I suppose if we could get some more appendages now. Oh, girl. Oh, we still can't. You dirty bastard. Well, obviously, I actually didn't even try to add. I guess we could add some sort of little mini hidden doobie doo pie ball. Yeah, we'll make it just look like a, a butt. Here, see, it does kind of look like some sort of privates, especially when it blinks. And oh my god, that is absolutely grotesque. That is by far the grossest thing I've ever seen. That should not exist, sir. Oh man, this is gonna be so funny. Facehugger first picks up a stick. Facehuggers, I mean, as intelligent as they are, they, well, they're very far from being picking up a stick and their brain growing, you know? Obviously, that's like saying a baby would evolve into something else before it turns into an adult. But, you know what I'm saying? They're just very smart in an instinctual kind of way. They know how to sneak up on things fresh out of the egg. 
You know what? This really isn't as special, but it's... it's Actually, this is so awesome. Look at that little guy from there. He looks so epic. Oh my god, I'm actually so proud of this right now. This and the Mortal Kombat Xenomorph thing. I'm really experimenting. You guys wanted more Xeno videos. And instead of just going back to AVP or Alien Colonel Marines or Alien Isolation, which I will, all of those, I felt the need to mix it up a little. That's so cool. It is really ridiculous how we hold things with our mouths. I suppose that actually would be how I'd imagine it though, because we don't have really have opposable thumbs, but we'd be able to keep things in our vagina face from for sorts. Look at this. This is something I've never experienced right before. I mean, before in my life. Creature stage as a face hugger. This is actually crazy right here. I'm a big fan of what's going on. Wait, how do we do this again? I haven't done creature stage in a long ass time. Oh, it's still having us look around and do stuff with the camera. Man, I haven't done creature stage in forever. All right, yes, minimap, we've got this. The Hugger Village, the village of huggers. Sounds like a bunch of pedophiles just hanging out in one area together. Look at how cool this is, man. Little face hugger village. I've never seen face huggers in this light before. This is absolutely beautiful. I understand it's the least, it's the least canon thing to ever happen. But I also don't give a poop. All right, buddies, you guys are kind of weenies right now. So we're going to have to find some mini targets. Mini target. I mean, you are face huggers, but it says you're not good at gathering food. You just impregnate. You know better than like all those chicks on Pregnant at 16 or whatever the hell that show is called. Where is, you know what? That's what spears are for. For weapons that are crazier than I mean for get these chompies. I should have given them better feats. Obviously one of the main aspects of the face hugger should have been his ability to jump. But I was out of body parts, man. It's one of my biggest regrets ever in life. What are you doing? But you gotta get in the shiz, man. Both y'all gotta get in the shiz. This guy's okay. You're, you're all gonna die. <laughs> These things happen. It's okay. Run for your life, dude. Run for your, run for the hills. Oh, you're gonna die, son. Don't you bring him back to our place. Don't even think about it, bro. Don't even bring him. This is ridiculous. Oh, but these are creatures? I thought they were like some sort of weird fruit. What the hell? You never, you think you know a guy. All right, sweet. That was a horrible fail of a situation, but we learned from it. And that's all that matters. If I go gather food from that, are you gonna make a thing out of it? If I go eat your relative, or would you rather they just go to waste? Because I'm a face hugger. I gotta hug somebody's face. I'm a very affectionate person, apparently. Damn, that was a horrible start off right there. My whole tribe wiped out, my chief one shotted. Basically. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! Look who's got health now. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby face huggers. The irony is a face hugger is a baby. Or is it? If you're born a full grown adult, are you still a baby? How. Whoa! Inception. Oh my gosh, you dirty bastards. These creatures are so non advanced as far as sport creatures goes. It's like very upsetting. They're, they, they're so slow. They have no hops, no wings, no nothing. They are basically just. They're just face huggers without hops. I mean, they're, I don't know, it's like they're a bunch of hippie face huggers who just decided against the whole hugging people's faces thing and decided to go hug trees instead and just form a nice little village off on the side. I mean, I don't know, unless they become Xenos, they're not that good in combat is the whole thing. If, if Xenos never existed and it was just face huggers, that movie would have gone down, all those movies would have gone down very differently, man. I don't think aliens would have even, no, there would have been a lot of them. <laughs> Many less movies. All right, man, we're finally rebalancing. I mean, we've got a full tribe of face huggers. That's pretty, pretty neat. I do say so. These guys, look at these. I made a dinosaur in another video. A Velocitrump. Nice, we have Velocitrumps in this world. That's gonna be lovely to go up against. All right, these guys seem generally straight up weenie. We're still biting them. How are we an evolved people at all? They're just hopping on wild animals and nibbling at them. Doesn't seem very evolved to me, man. <laughs> I feel like I once to be, where's that stick we picked up? You know what I'm saying? Wait, hand, where are sticks? We must arm ourselves. At least now we have enough food to actually properly arm ourselves, so get prepared to eat that poo, sir. Is our base defended? Damn scavengers. <laughs> Look at that thing, he's essentially some sort of T-Rex type deal it's become. That's awesome. It's your face hugger tribe versus freaking dinosaurs, that's the coolest thing ever. Oh, hello there, little food. Little food would be grand. 
All right, we're about to have some weaponry up in here. Life's gonna be pretty awesome. Gonna go kill me a dinosaur with a tribe of face huggers. That's the beauty of video games right there, people. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> face huggers armed with freaking axes. That's beautiful. That's what I like to see right there. I'm actually gonna leave our food. No, 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 someone must stay here in case the food gets pillaged. It's the same rules every time. Freaking scavengers all around here. Stealing everyone's food. Let's just go kill this, this little tribe of dinosaurs right here. You guys look delicious. That's the only thing scarier than if, actually, no, I feel like face huggers would be a lot less scary if they just used weapons as opposed to actually just, you know, hugging your face. It's the face hugging part that's terrifying. What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna go steal their food, actually. That sounds fantastic. Put your free food over there, go get it. We'll be taking this. <laughs> Don't even think about chasing me, Brosif. Oh, no, you didn't. No, no, no. You must abandon your- come on, buddy. Oh, we'll be back for that food. You mark my words, you little poops. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, you're starting war right now. You're so lucky we're gathering food right now. You are so- oh, he's getting away, too. Oh, you done started a, a race riot up in here. Well, I guess just a normal riot, but I don't know why I have to bring race into it. No! No! Don't you cheer over his death. Oh, oh, war has been declared. War has been declared, people. That much is certain. Oh, another tribe's attacking me, beating me to the punch, I see. Do all of you have... Okay, no, all of them definitely have stone axes, correcto? What do you have, sir? What do you do with your life? Oh, here they come, man. Yes, I've been, I've been waiting for this. Bring it, you little bitches! Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Where are you guys going? Come on, attack, attack, attack what's all around you. Get these little bastards! Oh, we get wrecked, son. We are well bigger. The face huggers feel no fear. Although they are doing a good amount of damage to our little hut. Get get out of there. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Firebomb him. Firebomb him, Johnny. Wait, no, save the firebomb. But it was too late. Or was it? Did I already do it? Can you guys kill that person? What the hell's going on over there? Boy, this guy just doesn't know what to do with his life right now. <laughs> Looks like they all just need to focus on a single target. All right, you done good, buddy. I get this guy. You guys all get this asshole out of here. Whoa, whoa, you get this person too. Get, come on. There we go. Now we got him focused. We're losing troops out here. Drop some babies. Drop some babies. Come on. Are we winning? What's happening? Y'all really want a baby to see this kind of nonsense? Is that, oh yeah, the rest of the reinforcements coming around the corner. All right. Well, that was pretty brutal. We barely survived such a... Such a vicious attack on our people. A little shame that they resorted to such violence. Where's our repair? Does it just happen naturally? Nevertheless, we must attack while they are weak. You, you gonna die now? Yes, OB. Don't bring him a treat. No. Bring him the pain. There we go. <laughs> we will have a baby to carry on our legacy as well. Oh, did they bring us a treat? Well, they didn't bring it quick enough. Yeah. Plus, we have enough to make one more baby. I don't know. This is pretty much a Hail Mary run right here. You're gonna die, son of a bitch, you and all your children. Those are children, right? They are. They are but children. Oh, can't say children, but... Is that a stick? Get them! Get their chief! Then they will have nothing. Hang on, you attack the young ones too, though. I guess we can attack the young plenty. No, no, no. Make sure they don't grow old. Make sure they don't grow of age. And then you three kill off the chief. Perfect. Perfectly done. Kill the younglings before they become Jedi. What you gotta do, buddy? Nicely done, sir. Look at us kill. That's expensive. Oh, no. Did you lose all your younglings? Oh, shit. Oh, that's so unfortunate for you. Oh, looks like all your kids are dead, Brosif. Looks like you're about to lose your village, too. Oh, oh, no, no, no way. Where did that full-grown adult just come from? Explain yourself to me, son. You two handle the child. <laughs> this is evil. Hey, whoa, whoa. That's another full-grown adult right here. Did you kill the child? Get the child. Perfect. Start working on that village. Actually, no. Kill this. This suitor. Actually, no. This you two start working on that village. Now, man. Now. Firebomb. Bring the fire. You do it? I didn't see any fire. And you guys handle that adult. Nice. Who is gone. <laughs> That's what happens when you stop me from stealing your food right there. Ha, ha, ha. This is beautiful. Well done, gentlemen. Seems the child has come of age as well. As well. What's going on, you giant-ass T-Rex creature? I will no doubt cross paths with again. 
So this is pretty damn sweet right here. Face hug your life. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here right now though, because I have a buttload to edit tonight. But this is fun as shit. It's just gonna be taken over tribe by tribe. Oh look, they brought a little repair crew. Let me know if I should go through all the effort to try to make a Xeno or something like that, and then going into like space stage, you know? I feel like that sounds fun as hell. The face huggers have advanced to armor stage, man. Face huggers with armor? What? Well, of course, I have to see this through first before ending this video. I mean, it doesn't matter how much I have to edit. Johnny, this is of utter importance right here. What happens when facehuggers evolve to a stage in their life where they get used to looking fancy? You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're definitely a Jeepers Creepers monster type hat type fella. Ooh, some rings on our on our hugged. What? That is baller right there, son. We are, we will live like kings. This is too hilarious right here. This is what happens when face huggers listen to rap. This is what this is. Can we just get a big one around our tail? Oh, we got our tail pierced. I guess that's where it'll have to be. Ooh, that is so cool right there. I mean, obviously it looks ridiculous, but at the same time, you gotta respect face huggers. Moving on up the jewelry chain. I don't really know how else to phrase that. Never thought I'd say this sentence before in my life, but this is actually kind of fancy right here. What's going on? Come on, ring. You gotta be perfect on both sides. Ooh, girl. That's about as good as... You know what? Maybe they just like the front ones pierced. Maybe that's a thing in face hugger life, you know? I feel like it might be. And then we got a little, little... little thing for our booties back here, which we cover because eventually these become referred to as private parts in our in our species. You know what I'm saying? These are a couple thousand or a couple hundred thousand years from now, just a couple thousand years, will be our genitals. So as we may walk around butt naked now, but one day we will be clothed. Actually, now it just looks like a giant penis now that I've established that they're testicles. It's gotten weird, but I've had super fun dressing up as face hugger. This is so much fun. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this for sure. Just smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.